everyone, we are starting to look at volume today. Remember, volume is how much space a figure holds, how much space a 3D figure takes up. So we're gonna look at the volume of cylinders and we are going to be finding how much space is inside the cylinder. So reminder of cylinders, they have two circular bases that are connected by the height and their circular bases, we're gonna have to find the area of them. So reminder to find the area of a circle, you use pi r squared. So here is the volume of a cylinder formula. It is V equals capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base. So let's break that down a little further here. Here's our formula, V equals B H. V is the volume. Capital B is the area of the base. So we're gonna have to find the area of the circular base by using pi r squared. So that means I will replace the B with whatever pi r squared is. And then I will multiply it by the height of the cylinder, which remember is the distance that connects the bases. So let's look at those a little bit closer here. Capital B is our area of the base. So I'm gonna find the area of those circles. And then my height is the distance that connects those. So this distance right here. Those are the two things that we're gonna need for finding the volume of the cylinder. So here's just a verbal description of how to find the volume of a cylinder. You multiply the area of the base, which is pi r squared times the height. Okay, so let's practice that. We are gonna find the volume on one through three and round to the nearest hundredth if we need to. So I'm finding the volume. I'm gonna do V equals area of the base times the height. So I will need the area of the base and I will need the height. So let's shade our bases, which are the circles, and then circle my height, the distance between them. So the height is 11.5. And now I need to find the area of the base by using pi r squared. So I'm gonna do 3.14 times my radius of 2.3 squared and 3.14 times 2.3 squared is 16.61. So now I have everything I need for my volume formulas. I have the area of the base after doing pi r squared, and I have the height, which was 11.5. And I just multiply those together. So the area of the base is 16.61 times the height, which is 11.5. So 16.61 times 11.5 is 191.015, so that'll round to zero, two millimeters squared. Okay, number two, same thing, I'm finding the volume, so I will do V equals B H. I will need B, the area of the base, and H, the height of the prism. So my area of the base, I'm shading it, I'm shading my bases, and then my height is three. So now let's find capital B, area of the base, by doing pi r squared. They gave me the diameter, it's the whole way across, I just need the radius, so I'm going to divide it by two to get the radius, which is seven. So to find area of the base, I will do 3.14, times seven squared. And 3.14 times seven squared is 153.86. So now I have area of the base and I have my height and I can just multiply them together to find my volume. Area of the base was 153.86 times my height of three and 153.86 times three is 461.58 centimeters squared. Okay, number three, same thing, I'm finding the volume. I will need area of the base and the height to find it. So my bases are the circles which makes the height 10 since it's connecting these circles. 
Now I just need to find the area of the base by doing pi r squared. So I'm going to do 3.14 times my radius. They gave me the diameter here, so my radius will be whatever 9 divided by 2 is. And 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So back to finding the area of the base. It'll be pi times the radius 4.5 squared. So 3.14 times 4.5 squared is 63.59. So now I'm going to multiply my area of the base times the height to find the volume. It'll be 63.59 times 10 and 63.59 times 10 is 635.9. Feet cubed. All right, so now we're going to talk about something called in terms of pi. So in terms of pi is a way to write the volume or any number as an exact answer since pi is irrational and goes on forever. So basically we're just not going to multiply in the pi and we'll leave the pi symbol in our solution so that we don't have to round anything because whenever we're using 3.14 for pi, we're technically approximating. So it'll be the same process, but instead of multiplying in the 3.14 right here, I'll just leave it as a pi symbol. Okay, so let's practice that on number four. It wants me to find the volume in terms of pi, so still gonna be the same formula. I still will need to find the area of the base and the height and multiply them. So here are my bases. And here is the height. So the height is 8.1. Okay, they gave me the diameter. I'm going to divide that by 2. And 3.5 divided by 2 is 1.75. So there's my radius. Okay, so area of the base is pi r squared. So I'm going to find the area of the base, but I'm doing it in terms of pi. So instead of writing 3.14 for pi, I'm going to leave the pi symbol, and then I'm going to do times 1.75 squared. So now in my calculator, all I'm going to put is 1.75 squared. to get the area, and then I will just stick a pi symbol at the end. 1.75 squared is 3.0625, and then I'm going to stick a pi at the end. So now I have my area of the base as an exact answer since I have pi in it, and then I have my height, so now I'm able to find the volume by multiplying them. So V equals BH, my base was 3.0625 pi times 8.1. And now I just multiply the numbers and I'll stick a pi symbol at the end. So 3.0625 times 8.1 is 24.81, I'm going to round it, 24.81 pi, and then it would be yards cubed. Okay, let's look at number five. Again, I'm going to find the volume in terms of pi, so I'm going to do V equals BH. I'll find the area of the base in terms of pi and the height, and then multiply them together. So here are my bases. And that makes my height 21 since it's connecting them. So now I'm going to find the area of the base by doing pi r squared. I'm doing it in terms of pi, so I'm going to leave in the pi symbol. So I'm going to do pi times my radius of 3.2 squared. And now in the calculator, all I put is the 3.2 squared, and I'll just stick a pi symbol at the end. And 3.2 squared is 10.24. So the area of the base is 10.24 pi. So now I have the area of the base and I have the height so I can find the volume by multiplying them together. 
So I'll do 10.24 pi times the height, which is 21. And I'm just going to multiply the numbers together and stick the pi symbol at the end. So I'm going to do 10.24 times 21, which is 215.04 centimeters cubed. Oh, I forgot the pi symbol. That's something that people do often. Don't forget to put the pi symbol whenever you do it in terms of pi. So it is 215.04 pi centimeters cubed. All right, let's look at number six. It says a cylinder has a diameter of 14 feet and a height of H feet. Which equation could be used to find V, the volume of the cylinder? So remember the volume of a cylinder is area of the base times the height. The area of the base is pi r squared, and then we just multiply it by the height. So if my diameter is 14, that means I would divide it by two to get my radius. So my radius is seven. So if I were to replace the radius in here with seven, the new formula would be pi times seven squared times the height. The one that matches that is A. Let's talk about why the other ones would not work. I do not square the height in the volume formula. So that's why this one doesn't work. And then on these two, they're just trying to trick you. They gave you the diameter, but we know we use the radius, not the diameter to find the volume of a cylinder. All right, number seven, the inside drum of a washing machine is shaped like a cylinder. It has a diameter of three feet and a height of 2.5 feet. Find the volume of the washing machine rounded to the nearest hundredth. So I will do V equals BH. I will need B, the area of the base, and H, the height. Well, they told me the height, it's 2.5. And then area of the base, I will do pi r squared. They gave me the diameter, it was three. I divide it by two and my radius is 1.5. So to find the area of the base, I will do 3.14 times 1.5 squared. And 3.14 times 1.5 squared is 7.065. So now I have the two things I need for volume. I have area of the base and the height. So volume will be 7.065 times my height of 2.5. And 7.065 times 2.5 is 17.66 feet cubed. All right, last one, it says Tim buys six cans of soup. Each can has a diameter of six inches and a height of two inches. What is the total volume of these six cans of soup? Round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So they tell me the dimensions of one can of soup. It has a diameter of 1.5 and a height of two. I'm going to have to find the volume of one of them and then multiply it by six since there are six cans of soup. So at the end here, I will need to do the volume of one can times six. Let's find the volume of one can by doing V equals area of the base times the height. So I will need the area of the base and the height. They told me the height, it is two inches. Area of the base, I will have to do pi r squared, which is 3.14 times, they gave me the diameter is 1.5. So I'll have to divide that by two to get the radius. And 1.5 divided by two is 0 0.75. So to find the area of the base, I do pi r squared, 3.14 times 0 0.75 squared. And 3.14 times 0.75 squared is 1.77. So I have both things I need to find the area 
or the volume of one can of soup. Um, I have the area of the base, which is 1.77, and then I have the height of a can, which is two. And now I just multiply them together. 1.77 times two is 3.54. Okay, remember the question said, what is the total volume of the six cans of soup? So now I am going to do the volume of one, which is 3.54 times six. So I can find the total volume for six of them. And 3.54 times six is 21.24 inches squared or inches cubed for volume.